If I had to choose between the Oliva Series V and the Oliva Series V Milanio, what would I choose? I mean, you're asking me to choose right now? Man, that is a tough question. But honestly, there's only one way to find out. You know, so the original Oliva Serie V, Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, Nicaraguan filler binder. Really nice high priming of the wrapper too. Really nice dark, dark chocolate brown wrapper. So some background about the Oliva Serie V. So a little while back, I was talking to the CEO of Oliva, Corey Bapper, a good friend of mine. And he actually told me the story about the inception of this blend. So essentially, Jose Oliva at the time had a package come to his office and he said to Corey, hey, listen, I want you to try this cigar. But the cigar wasn't banded. It was in a plain box. There was no markings on it. So, of course, Corey asked him, what is it? And Jose just said, listen, do me a favor. Just smoke it. Corey didn't know it at the time, but it was the Serie V blend that Jose was working on. Obviously, Corey smokes it. And honestly, the rest is kind of history. But it's really interesting because prior to the Oliva Serie V being released, Oliva's portfolio wasn't really a fuller body portfolio, I would say. They dabbled in medium body blends, but it, that was about it as far as strength perspective went. And honestly, when this blend landed, I specifically remember thinking to myself, this is gonna take this company to the next level, to the next tier. That's how good it is. When you smoke the cigar, it says premium cigar. And not that their other stuff did not, it did. But this cigar is elevated, and you'll see if you haven't smoked it before, you usually smoke maybe the Series G or Series O, even the Connecticut. Phenomenal cigars. But this Series V, when it was launched, I remember it made an impression on me to where I thought, Oliva has arrived in a big way. They're, they're up there with the big boys now. They're definitely up there with the big boys. You know, obviously, if you're a fan of just mild cigars, before you smoke the Oliva Series V, I would eat first, but I wouldn't back off of it. If I had a friend of mine and we were together and he's like, listen, I'm gonna reach for this XYZ Connecticut. I would have no problem handing that person this Oliva Siri V because as I said, even though they're big flavors, there's nothing harsh or aggressive about it, especially this Churchill size. You know, I think I love about this shape. It really gives the cigar time to develop as I'm smoking it, right? So I know, because I've smoked it many times in the past, Starts off definitely more medium body with a lot of nuanced flavors. Now those nuanced flavors will continue, but the cigar will build in strength as I go. So if you haven't tried the Oliva Serie V and you're a fan of Nicaraguan tobacco and you like bold blends, this is a no brainer, right? But I even think for people that flirt with that mild and medium body blend, I think they can handle this cigar, but I would say I would advocate eat first and then smoke it. But it's not gonna blow your doors off as far as strength goes, but it definitely has enough body to let you know it's there. So tasting notes of the cigar, it's a wonderful blend. You know, I always say it's very coffee forward, but also with that roasted coffee note that is very prevalent, I also get spice. And people say, you know, what spice? You know, what are you tasting? Is it black pepper? Is it cayenne? It actually is a little bit like a cayenne. It has a really nice kind of balanced spice to it. There's also notes of like hickory to it. I get like a woody note to it that's not like oaky or thin. It's, a, it's like a bass, you know, it's like a bass drum. Hickory's big, right? So I taste that hickory note in there. Yeah, there's like a, a, like a hint, a whisper of sweetness to it, but it's a big sweetness. It's definitely not a thin note. So I think everything about this blend, that's obviously probably why I like it, is because the flavors are big. You know, it's not necessarily an aggressive blend, overly aggressive blend but it has a lot going on in that big department. So to me, it is a, all the flavors are big and bold, coffee forward, but there's a lot going on. It's complex too. You know, when you're talking about making a cigar, I always say, when you're trying to make a cigar that's gonna push the boundaries of strength, having balance and complexity and not any one note overpowering the other note is really, really important. So that's a testament to whoever blended the cigar originally because they clearly had a great palate. They knew what they were doing. They were looking for us as cigar enthusiasts to discover something different every time we kind of puffed on the cigar. But yeah, great tasting notes, very complex cigar, a little whisper of sweetness, woodiness, you know, that hickory note to it. And you know, like most Nicaraguan tobacco, I always have a little nut flavor there. There's a nuttiness to it as well. So yeah, we think about all those flavors together spice, coffee, nuts, you know, right? It's a little sweetness. It's, it's, a, it's a perfectly balanced cigar. On the other hand, Oliva Serie V Milano. 
another fantastic cigar. I mean, totally different animal than when you look at it, first of all, it's box pressed as opposed to being in the round, right? This Perfecto, or the Figurado, was actually the number one cigar of the year in Cigar Aficionado magazine, for good reason. Outstanding blend, as I said. But the makeup is different, you know? It's Sumatra wrapper, so it's grown in Ecuador, but it's from a Sumatra seed, Nicaraguan filler binder, and it's box pressed. This is an extremely hard shape to roll. I mean, first of all, making a box pressed cigar is tough because you have to underfill it prior to pressing, right? And accommodate for draw, right? Also, you're talking about a shape that's, you know, both ends are shaped. So it's extremely hard to make. So the one thing you're gonna be assured of with this cigar, only the best hands in the factory touch it. So that is reassuring to me as a cigar smoker. If I'm gonna, you know, spend some money on a cigar, I wanna make sure it's gonna smoke well. These things never have let me down, ever. But the Melania is a totally different animal, and I love it for, for different reasons. I love Sumatra wrapper mixed with Nicaraguan fillers. I think they play extremely well together. I think it's a great pairing in general. But the Melania has really nice earthy notes to it, which is indicative of Sumatra, right? That sweet earth, cedar notes to it. It has a little bit of a black pepper quality to it, but it has a nuttiness to it that really shines, even more so than the original Siri V. To me, it has more of a nutty flavor, but I get that sweet earth from the Sumatra wrapper. But I love the fact that, you know, both say Oliva V, both are part of that series, but they very different cigars. I mean, their namesake, yeah, same, but these really could be two different cigars, you know, with different bands, both from the same factory, of course, but when I tell you there are two different blends all together, but both exquisite, both excellent. So it's a, it's a tough choice. I mean, honestly, I, I flip flop back and forth with it, but it really depends on what I'm looking for. But again, you say you have to choose one, one or the other, what's it gonna be, Maz? I'm gonna choose the original Siri V. And the reason why I say that is because it never obviously has let me down. I've been smoking it for a longer period of time. It's, it was out prior to the Melania series. It's very familiar to me, uh, not that this isn't, but this cigar, every time I smoke it, I think to myself, why don't I smoke this cigar more? I love cigars that are coffee forward. This cigar has great dark roast coffee notes. I just, you know, it's a tough decision. And honestly, either decision would be a good decision. There's no bad decisions here, but I'm gonna go with the original Serie V. You know, if I have to choose one. I don't wanna choose one, but if I have to, the Serie V original. So I wanna thank you for joining me. Let me know which one you choose between the Milano and the original Siri V. Drop me a comment. But before we depart, make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you here next time.